We're here to test out our parachutes for landing on the Martian surface, and so the best place to try this is here at the Queen's Tower. So let's have a go with one parachute, and fingers crossed this is going to work. So land it out, and away we go. So what we're going to do now is add more parachutes to see if that has any effect at slowing down a lander any more. So when we get to Mars, the crew moves into the re-entry vehicle and at that point they're ready for the entry, descent and landing onto the surface of Mars. They'll essentially be coming into the surface of Mars at around 14,000 miles per hour. Most of the energy is going to be lost by the front end, the, the thermal shield of the re-entry vehicle. And as that heats up um, and it absorbs the energy of re-entry, the spacecraft will slow down. At 700 miles an hour or so, they will be able to release a parachute shoot them out and they'll slow things down for us. But the problem is that might not provide enough resistance to slow our module down. So we're also going to have to use retro rockets, and these are just rockets placed underneath, like glorified fireworks basically, to slow us down to get a soft enough landing. Right at the last moment on entry, the legs are going to be deployed, the retro rockets far up, and we hope that re-entry vehicle quite gracefully descends on those retro rockets down to the surface of Mars. And this is all to do with the fact that the Martian atmosphere just isn't like anything on Earth. This is vastly different. You can't take chances. If you lose human beings, this is going to be a massive disaster. So we've got to make sure as much as possible we get them down safely.